let's talk about feeling down. Man, sometimes you're just gonna feel down, right? This advice isn't gonna isn't gonna help anybody right now, right? But maybe it'll help you stay out of that that mindset, that mind state. Um, for me, it's about not trying to rely on motivation to stay motivated, right? That's like you can't rely on yourself to, to keep motivated because you need, or you can't rely on yourself to be energetic just because you want to be energetic. You have to put food in your body and put energy in your body, which takes action, right? So if you wanna be like energetic, focused, clear, and like you wanna go get it, you have to first take action. So when people say, hey, you know, oh man, you just gotta get motivated, or hey man, you're not very motivated, or man, I wish I was motivated to do what I wanted to do. Start second guessing what it is that you really wanna do and maybe there's something that you're missing. Because to me, and this is just one guy's opinion, I think drive and willpower is the answer to getting things done. Because you're not gonna always want to do the thing that you know you really wanna do, you know? Like, yeah, okay, I wanna be a famous singer. Okay, but how bad? You know, because if I wanted to be a famous singer, I know I can sing. I, I truly can, guys, actually. Uh, but if I wanted to sing and become a famous singer, I would have to have that drive and start going and getting it, taking the steps to get there. So you need drive. Drive to do things like, okay, find some inspirational content, right? Find some valuable motivational speeches that, that spark an energy inside you that get you going, right? It's silly. If you ask any member of my family, I, I, I used to do it more than I do now, but I watch motivational like dream speeches and stuff, and, and I'm gonna link one below. It's called the, uh, the dream speech. It has like 60 million views. It's talking about you want to be special. You wanna be an individual who will go and get things and you wanna be different. You know you have that talent and that special light inside you, but you won't let it shine because you're embarrassed. You're afraid to be by yourself. You're afraid to be alone. And uh, they say, you know, you wanna to get to the next level, but you're not reading books, really. You know, you're not, you're not, you're not studying. You're not putting the time in. And uh, you, you hanging out with so many other people that you know them better than you know yourself. You know, it's true what they say in that video. Challenge yourself to be alone. Challenge yourself to be different. Don't be afraid of loneliness. Loneliness is, ah, and, and I, listen to me, okay? I gotta be careful what I say here because I wouldn't I wouldn't trade my, my life that I have now for anybody else's or any other portion of my life. I love my wife, I love my child, I love my business, I love where I am in life right now. But loneliness is where you will be the most creative. It's where you will find yourself. It's where you will create things that when you when you do get married and you have kids and you and you you grow older, you'll look back and say, "Man, I was getting it. I remember those times." When I first moved to moved out of Maine, I, I lived in Tennessee, Columbia, Tennessee. I was staying in a tiny little basement apartment. It was one room, bedroom, kitchen, living room, and bathroom, one room. And uh, I brought my guitar down there. I didn't go to Nashville to become a famous singer. I just wanted to go to Nashville because I knew I was going to Florida and I was like 20 years old or 22 years old, had nothing to lose. So I went there, I wrote some of the most beautiful music of my life on my guitar. Um, I'll try to screen record them and, and post them later. Um, if you guys follow me on Facebook, I can I can post them there as well. But some of the best, I got so good at the guitar, I, I really found out what I was what I was capable of because I had never been so lonely in my life. 
I'll be honest with you. I went to Tennessee because I knew nobody there and I had to detox. I had to get over my addiction. I had to get through that and I was tired of failing and failing and failing and failing. And it is true that change only happens when the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain and fear of changing. Think about that. I was so tired of being a strung out addict that needed something to just partake in society that I finally said, I'm ripping the bandaid off. I'm going to Tennessee. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna go through detox. I'd never been more sick in my life and I wanted to die. I wanted to call mommy and scream and kick and, 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 and drink just to get to sleep. But I had nowhere to hide. I had nowhere to turn. But I knew I was gonna die because there, there also has to be something inside of you just there has to be something that you're born with or you have to have really good people around you and I think I had I think I had both of those I also had some bad people around me but I knew that I had to rip the band-aid off and go through it the only way out is through not under not around not over through it and so what ended up happening is I got through it and now today I don't fear loneliness and I actually think being by yourself and whether you're married or not have family I just mean by yourself when people leave the house and you're there by yourself take a minute you know don't hop right on the phone don't hop on the computer don't pop on the TV learn something be in your element you know you're good at something knitting drawing singing playing an instrument reading and just be in that space. Because honestly to me, what is life if you can't enjoy it on your own? If you can't enjoy life on your own, then you're probably not going to be able to get joy or receive or pass joy to anybody in a relationship that you may have. So I just wanted to say this to you guys, uh, dig deep, man, dig deep, right? You're capable, you're far more capable of things than you think, right? And just remember that somebody could be going through something that, that you have no idea, you couldn't even fathom it. Just like, just be, be nice to people, right? Say your apologies and just drift on and remember that this, and I'm, I'm not a religious guy, but this one thing from the good book resonates with me. This too shall pass, right? So there it is, guys. Um, I hope I hope some people watch this video, man. I haven't been posting as much, but I'm just gonna post this raw for you guys, and I mean it. This too shall pass. All right. If you guys like the content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you hate this video, hit the I hate you video, thumbs down thing. But uh, I'll see you soon. Take care, guys.